I've got two pieces of walnut, one piece of maple, and I put the maple in the middle. That way it'll have a nice contrast. I did use a little bit of table salt here just to keep those from slipping and sliding around. Clamp them up, let them dry for a few hours. Once the glue is dry, I took it over to the miter saw and cut it about five inches square. I got it cut square. All I need to do now is mark the center so I can drill the hole so we can put the temperature gauge. I'm gonna be able to use my DFM square to basically cut all the corners off on a 45 degree angle. Now cutting this to miter saw, I'm using this million dollar stick or whatever they call it just to give me a little extra helping hand. Now over to the drill press, and I'm drilling the same size hole here right in the center of this thing. So once I was about halfway, I took it off and drilled, used another drill bit to drill all the way through so I could have a starting point from the other side. Now we're gonna sand this and put a little bit of a round over on the front edge. Now for that oil bath to make that wood grain pop. What's nice about the friction fit is you don't have to worry about getting anything exact because you can simply turn these dials to get exactly straight up and down with uh, whatever project you've made.